Hi, this is Elizabeth Watts with the Great Smoky Mountain Association, and we're continuing our auto tour of Cades Cove today with the lower section of the loop. We've got lots of exciting places to visit, so let's get going. People flock to Cades Cove for the historic buildings, the wildlife, and the views seen along the 11-mile loop road. We've already explored a good bit of Cades Cove in our other blogs, but right now our first stop is the Henry Whitehead Place. I want to tell you this little story. Matilda Shields Gregory was a settler here in Case Cove, and unfortunately her husband left her and her small son, and can you imagine back then what do you do? So her brother hastily built this sad little depressing cabin for her and her son, and they lived there for a while. Well, meanwhile, Henry Whitehead lost his wife, and he had three daughters to rear, so he courted and wed Matilda. He built her this magnificent, larger cabin. Now, at first glance, this house looks like a frame house, but if you look around the corner, you see that it actually has, is made of notched logs. So that's the romantic story of Matilda. She got to move from little log cabin to big log house. <laughs> With all the wildlife sightings, Cades Cove is a haven for photographers. So hey everybody, look who I ran into. This is Roger Canada. He's the photographer of the 2009 Great Smoky Mountains calendar. Roger, you're here signing calendars today, right. aren't you? That's right. How do you get these kind of shots? Um, lots of practice and lots of, uh, lots of shots in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hard editing. I bet a lot of patience as well. And, and patience. So we're in Cades Cove today. Tell us about photography down here. I've seen a lot of photographers. Yeah, uh, well it's a good time. You can, uh, I got here early this morning and got some shots with the frost. So for those amateur photographers out there, do you have any tips for them when they're bringing their cameras to the Smokies? Um, patience, um, a tripod, and um, try to get there really, really early before the sun rises and stay late after the sun sets. Great to meet, to meet you. you too. Okay, thank you. thank you. What kind of shots could you bring home from Kate's Cove? At this point in our auto tour, we decided to take a little break and stretch our legs on the nature trail. It's a three quarter mile walk through the woods. So Dan Lawson was a big landowner in this area, and when he built this house in around 1856, he used hewn logs because, of course, there wasn't a lumber mill here in the cove yet. But look at this. Over here you see some of the additions, and even up top, this is sawed lumber. These are bricks that were actually made right here on site, the original ones. And that was really unusual for the cove. Well, this house definitely has some upgrades. There are several rooms in there. These other buildings here were essential buildings at the time. This is a granary. Beyond it is a smokehouse. And just look at that view. I can really understand why these settlers wanted to settle here in this cove. This is a cantilever barn. It's a replica of an earlier one that was built right in the same spot. And over here, we have a double corn crib. Of course, corn was a very important crop for all the families in the cove, and it's said that they ate cornbread at just about every meal. Across the road is the house built by Colonel Tipton in the early 1870s. He actually never lived here, though. His daughters, Miss Lizzie and Miss Lucy, lived here, and they were school teachers down in the cove. You'll also notice these sheds over here. These sheltered bee gums, and like every family in the cove, all the families that lived here used bees, they collected the honey, they were able to use it to sweeten their foods, and also a lot of times they could sell the honey and buy other things that they needed. The last stop on our auto tour is the Carter Shields cabin. With such an idyllic setting, I can see why an old soldier built this cabin here in Cades Cove to get away from it all. Well, with more than a million visitors here every year, Cades Cove really is a mountain cultural museum. We're interested in how people lived in those days. We're interested in their buildings and this beautiful setting. I hope you get a chance to come to Cades Cove sometime soon too. I really enjoy giving you this tour. Take care. I went to see my pretty little miss. She was standing in the dark.